what's going on there? Oh my god, what? And that was so weird. <laughs> <clears throat> what is going on guys, h 2 hd here, in this video I'm actually commentating over a gameplay of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I know you guys are going to say that Advanced Warfare is a little bit boring and we just can't wait for Black Ops 3, I mean come on, this game does get boring after a while. I'm not going to lie, this was the only gameplay what I had on my hard drive, but I melted kids, just watch the gameplay and enjoy my voice, <laughs> but I melted kids, literally. Just before I actually get into the comment, well, <laughs> this is the commentary. <laughs> Why can't I speak? Okay, just before I get into the actual commentary topic, I would just like to give a massive thank you to 742 and Max for allowing me and many other people upload to his channel. He's basically letting smaller channels like myself grow. And I have actually uploaded to 742 and Max's channel before, and in that video, I said this. But 742 and Max, congratulations on hitting 2,000 subs. Claps for you, bro. Uh, you have grown so much. Only 11.4k. You know. Well, enough of me rim licking 742 on Max. <laughs> but let's just talk about a topic which I've been thinking of for a while. Okay, what would be the best Call of Duty? Okay, down in the comments below, guys, type out some certain things which you would like to see in a future Call of Duty. Not necessarily Black Ops 3 or Call of Duty Ghost 2 if that's a thing, but just like a new game. Okay. Personally, personally, before you guys have a go at me in the comment section, I would love to have a load of customizability. No, oh, I can't even sell it. A load of customizability where you could sort of design your own maps. So, for example, in CSGO, you've got this thing called the workshop, and basically, you can download people's maps and play on them in a private match. I don't mean people are going to be playing on these online, I just mean sort of for a private match. Because you can make a load of mini games, it'll be so much fun. Or another example is the Halo Forge, where you could just literally make your own map and just, I don't know, roam around with it. And it's cool. <coughs> okay, another thing what I'd love is, in Modern Warfare 2, there was this thing called Special Ops. And oh my god, was that fun. It was basically like a load of side missions beside the campaign, and I know you guys are going to say this. Black Ops 3 has multiplayer campaign. Yes, that's not the same as Special Ops. Okay. I want side missions, which are kind of short, but which are really fun to do. So, for example, in Modern Warfare 2, there was actually, I believe, one special ops mission where you were on top of this sort of roof in this snowy area while loads of enemy waves were coming at you and you had to just try and defend this sort of roof. And it was so much fun. Just like, sort of little things like that. That's what tops off the game for me. Okay, another thing what I'd love to be in a Call of Duty is they would bring supply drops back, but without the OP weapons, without any weapons at all, but camos and gear. How cool would that be? Also, I'd love for them to bring back currency. Okay, so in Black Ops 1, what you could do is you go into a multiplayer game, you'd finish a game on Nuketown, say, and you come out of it with uh, three grand. I don't know what the hell you would get after every single game, don't ask me, I'm just estimating. You'd get three grand. And with that currency, what you could then do is buy kill streaks. Weapons, attachments, and loads of different stuff. I mean, I wouldn't like to buy weapons or kill streak because that will make the game a little bit boring, don't you think? And it'll be a little bit too easy, maybe. So what you could do is you could use that currency to actually buy supply drops, which I, I thought that would be pretty cool. Or you could uh, you could bet it into a mini game. So I think it was on Black Ops One as well, where what you would do is you would bet money in a game, a gun game. If you came in the top three, you would gain money, and if you didn't come in the top three, then you would lose money. I think that's how it works. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. <laughs> and the last thing is I want Call of Duty to endorse more competitive play. I mean, rank play is all right, I guess. But it's just, it comes to the point where just people leave after they lose, like, the first 10 seconds of the game. I just really want to play competitively, but it being fun as well. But anyway guys, this has been your boy HG. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you find this video interesting. If you would like to go check me out, on YouTube. My link will be down in the description below, I believe. Hopefully if 7.4 Max does it, please. <laughs> but basically what my channel is, is I do vlogs, I do gaming videos, I do everything. I can't really categorize my channel at all. If you just come on over, hit that subscribe button, watch some of my videos, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching again, guys, and don't forget to pop something down in the comments below saying what you would like on a future Call of Duty thing. And without further ado, guys, I have been your boy HG, and I'm out. If you close your eyes.